Three athletes with three different styles of play, personalities, and three very different physiques. Middle Tennessee running backs Tavares Thomas, Terrell West, and Brad Anderson are anything but identical. Together, they form what could be the most unique backfield in Conference USA. Brad is Mr. Do-It-All. I can say Brad is Mr. Do-It-All. He loves to catch the ball. He thinks he's a receiver out the backfield. <laughs> Brad can do everything. Uh, T. West, he, T. West is the one that he's like the coach because he's been here the longest. So he's like the coach. He'll keep us all in line or, you know, give us, you know, little pointers here and there. And then me, I'm kind of like the new guy. I take the advice and I give some advice when we're running the ball. When we got to go downhill, I tell them when they should stick and stuff like that. I think it's crazy. I think a lot of teams going to have to take uh, their preparation seriously. They're not going to know what they can get. At any moment, any of us can play full game, but we know we have somebody that's going to come in with fresh legs and produce at the same level. And I feel like we'll stay fresh because knowing BA, it won't be a dropout once BA get in, or knowing it won't be a dropout once I get in. And Tavares the same way. We can rotate and stay fresh. Last season, none of the three played more than eight games in the backfield. Due to injuries, West missed the first five games in the season, while Anderson was absent for the final three. And even though he was healthy for the entire year, Thomas was a linebacker until week six, making his offensive debut against Florida International. The six foot, 245 pound bruiser will never forget when his number was called. They call Mustang. I heard it, but I didn't move. I was kind of nervous, like, oh. Everybody looked at me like, Mustang, Mustang. So I started to uh, trot on the field. And you got Brent running off and like, come on, let's go, let's go, you got it, you got it. Then I get there and I motion somebody and uh, I put somebody in motion and my heart dropped. And then I snapped the ball and it was like, it was go time and the adrenaline just started rushing and I was like, it's game flow, let's do it. What happened next? Thomas plowed his way through the Panther front seven for not one, not two, but three rushing touchdowns. Uh, for Tavares Thomas, his third touchdown of the day out of the Wildcat set. You know, I always talk about, you know, you want a group, even though you're good, that, you, that can put up the stats on the board also. So if we can come up with three guys that can be, you know, in the top 10 out know, of running backs in our conference, I would say, you know, hey, they, that's a good measurement to, to measure yourself by. Knowing the standard of the running backs here, going back to Benny and going back to DeJuan Hicks, just things like that, just keeping the standard as a running back here at MT. With the conference title in the forefront, this position group has one collective goal in mind. Um, we definitely have to go this season. It's 3K. They came up with that. I'm not sure exactly who, but they, they got to thinking around. And I like, you know, I like them to get an identity. I like them to be creative. They got the identity. They, they were creative with it. You know, everybody wants to be a thousand yard back. And then when you have a, a group by committee, running back by committee, a lot of times they say, hey, we can get 2,000 as a group. So I think they just wanted to raise the bar a level. But until September 1st, you can be sure they'll still be battling each day. It's definitely competition, every practice, I mean, but it's constructive and we all can learn from each other and we never get mad with each other down on ourselves. We just, we take constructive criticism and we just use it for the best. For GoBlueRaiders.com, I'm Tyler Lamb.